Hi guys, it's Regan from Concourse Marketing and in today's video we're going to cover the top 5 traffic generation marketing tactics for 2022. And we're going to cover on-page SEO, off-page SEO and localised SEO tactics and how they can generate traffic for your business. Okay, to kickstart this countdown, we're going to go in at number 5 and it's landing pages okay so landing pages are also known as lead capture pages or squeeze pages and they can be defined as a single web page that um, comes up in the search engine results pages with the sole purpose of converting traffic okay so a landing page is, is much more sales oriented than any other page on a website and the the, the primary purpose is just to convert traffic organic traffic coming from the search engines so an example of uh, this is, and, and the call to actions do vary. So it might be that you're capturing uh, someone's email or a phone number, or you might be trying to get them to download a free product or, or like an ebook or something like that. And that's what we call a lead magnet. So we're actually offering something, whether that's a free consultation or a, a free appointment on the basis they exchange information and, and that generates a lead for your business, okay? So when we're talking about landing pages, we're also targeting very specific uh, demographic psychographics and the page that needs to be set up in a, in a way for a very particular sort of person looking to purchase or benefit from your services. So just to give you a quick example of a landing page, um, let's look at the search term SEO Audit South Yorkshire. So this is a current search term that you can Google right now. Um, and you'll find that concourse marketing are in position number one. So why do we want to rank for this search term, SEO audit South Yorkshire? Well, it's highly likely if someone's searching that, they're looking for an audit of the website and an SEO audit, which is what we offer here. So we've got a, an entire page that's set up just to um, get that very specific person to request the free audit. And how do we do that? We have multiple CTAs or call to actions throughout the landing page. Now, again, it's important, the distinction between a landing page and most other pages on your websites like blogs or primary pages is the fact you're trying to convert traffic. So next up, we're going to jump into number four, which is blogging. Okay, so blog posts can be defined as a single web page on your website as well, but these are for educational purposes or to be informative and they're, they're much less sales oriented. Okay, so when we're thinking of blogs, it's to educate is to inform, it's to position yourself as an authority or an expert in a, in a certain subject. And, and primarily you're answering the questions that people are asking in the search engines right now that revolve around your product or service. So just in terms of the page itself, you're gonna be very much focused on user engagement. So it needs to be based more on the user's experience. So things like video, um, images, text that isn't just sales copy and trying to get someone to click a button but actually informative and links out to different case studies and, and it's credible information so the more credible your blog is and the more authority um your position is on that based on how many references and out outbound links which are very important to seo so you want to be outbound linking on your blog post to credible websites like gov websites edu websites um that is how you're going to uh, build a very credible blog post. Now, just in terms of what, how do you find the ideas for a blog post? So you want to look at questions being asked around your service and your product. So for example, just, just right now, just think of what your products and services are and what sort of questions may come. Let you, for example, you might sell hats, for, for instance, we can look at what, what sort of questions uh, come up around hats how to make a pirate hat, how to knit a baby hat. Why does Gregory Porter wear a hat? So these are very specific questions that are getting a lot of traffic um, right now in Google. Can you create a piece of content around that and discreetly, and the keywords discreetly, place a call to action that could potentially get you a sale or uh, lead somebody to a more sales oriented page on your website? Moving on to number three. Um, social media okay so social media is one of the biggest off-page SEO uh, ranking factors in um, SEO as an overall strategy so when we use social media 
We're talking about building up different platforms. So Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, LinkedIn, even like Discord, Spotify, if you're going down the podcast route. Google knows um, how much engagement you are receiving on these different platforms. And in, in SEO, we call it social signals. So Google's very mindful of how your content's performing, uh, how people are engaging with your content um, across these different platforms. So a big example of this, if uh, Gary Vaynerchuk is very big on, uh, on this advice, if you create a, a long form piece of content, like a video, you wanna implement that into your blog post, and then you wanna create micro content that goes out and distributes onto your social media, which is, it's like um, a constant cycle of promotion because someone might see that little video that, that results in them leading to your full blog post to get the full in-depth um, inf information and source of education that they're looking for and craving when they search for a certain thing in the search engines. Just another important note on that, there's literally hundreds of social media platforms and you, you're going to want to look at what platforms are best for your business. For example, if you're in the B2B space, a great platform is LinkedIn because there you're going to um, have an audience of professionals and um, likewise um, with Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you want to be active on these platforms because that's where people are. But also consider the other social media platforms. There's things like Pinterest and Reddit that can also be a massive factor in actually promoting your pages, especially your blog posts and your blog content. And just in general as well, consider podcasts. Can you do a long form podcast? Um, how can you do video and how can you incorporate that into your blog posts um, and then distribute through social media? Okay, so traffic generation marketing tactic number two direct linking okay so this one's a really great way of building some initial traffic so if you're not in a position right now where you've already got the organic traffic and you maybe you're just starting out with blogging a great way to just get some initial eyeballs onto your pages is direct link linking people when we're referring to direct linking we're talking about sms text message whatsapp dms direct messaging and just asking people within your network also friends family can you can you have a look over my page even if the blog post um, or, or page you're trying to get some eyeballs to isn't for that person, ask them if they'll do you a favor. Ask them if they'll proof proofread it. Google is watching and Google is observing that initial traffic and it can go a long way to actually getting you those initial positions and promoting that keyword um, and your, your position in the search engine results pages based on that keyword. So another thing to think about with this is if you know a solid 50, 100, 300 people and you ask them to do you that favor, also consider asking if they'll share that with somebody. If you can get 100 people to also share that with 100 people, you've just reached 10,000 people or over 10,000 people. So um, it's it, this one's very simple and, and one that you shouldn't miss. And it's very good if you're just starting to get that initial traffic to one of your blog posts and, and build that initial traffic. Okay, now the final um, traffic generation marketing tactic that I want you to take away today. Number one is just traditional marketing, okay? Now, yes, it's 2022 and it still works, okay? So print marketing, visitations, and also we're talking about tele telemarketing or cold calling, which people um, are very fearful of, but is very effective if you know how to do it and you do it effectively. So... When we're talking about print marketing, we're looking at like uh, leaflets, business cards, your traditional things that you can distribute, put in someone's hand um, and just leave an impression and um, something with them that when the timing's right, that you're the go-to person. At the end of the day, you want to be synonymous with whatever you offer. So when people think of you as a person, whether that's um, as a web designer, as someone who fits blinds, as someone who cuts hair, whatever your product is, whatever your service is, you want the people who know you right now to whenever they think of, of that need, you're the first thought. And the way you're going to do that is by making it very clear and communicating to those people. And whether that's through a business card that stays in someone's wallet or a leaflet that you put on the side, it's, it's, it's just additional um, space that you're taking up in terms of communication. So what's interesting is when you can actually combine these. So if you, for example, if you combine, if you combine visitations with print marketing, let's say you're in the B2B space and you go and visit 
I don't know, 30, 50 businesses in proximity to your business, you simply introduce yourself, the services that you offer, not in a salesy way, and you just leave them with a business card or a leaflet. Now, there's a chance that they might need you right then and there, and they might, you know, you might have a, a sale just on the spot. But even if that's not the case, they've got that business card and you've made that introduction from a visitation. And it's when they need you, they're gonna, you're going to be the top of the list. Okay, guys, so today was quite a quick video, but a very important one. Don't miss it. So the top five traffic generation marketing tactics, just to leave you with the, the main points. Number five, landing pages. You want to be building landing pages to convert traffic in the search engines. You need to have sales pages ready, collect those emails, get those inquiries in, get those phone calls in, get those um, inbound requests and, and hands up for people who are looking for your products and services with landing pages. Number four, blogs. Make sure you're educating people. Make sure you're informing people. Be someone who offers value up front and, and offers advice and consultative um, pieces of um, whatever it is you, you specialize in and help people um, in your space to become an authority and become the go-to option. Um, and also get some organic traffic into your website and help those landing pages get indexed and rank higher. Number three is social media. Make sure you're promoting, promote, promote, promote. Make sure you're posting everywhere, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, micro content, get a long form content, split it up. Um, and like I said, check out Gary Vaynerchuk on that. He's, he's really big on this. And then number two, uh, direct linking. Make sure you make, you're making the most of your immediate network. You need to view all your friends and family as the most powerful marketers for your business right now, especially if you're starting out and make sure they're promoting you, they're affiliates for your brand and they're, you know, hand somebody 50 business cards that you know. Set up a bit of an affiliate with them. If you can refer me work, I'll pay you. Do everything you can to get that traffic to your website and get your, you get your SEO performance up, okay? So then lastly, traditional marketing, it still works in 2022. Hand out business cards, hand out leaflets, do a radio commercial if need be, or if, if you've got the budget, do what you can. Just The key goal here is attention. And, and like everything in marketing, it starts with getting attention. Your biggest enemy is obscurity and not being known. So do everything and anything you can. That's picking up the phone and making a phone call um, or visiting a business and shaking someone's hand. So that's the top five uh, tactics that we've gone over today. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a comment below. And if you're looking for SEO services, we offer a free SEO consultation. So feel free to go to the link below onto the full blog and just request a free audit from us today. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.